Thomas and his new friend worked well together. Ready, Thomas. Ready and waiting, Luke. Luke and Thomas were both really useful engines. Clacking into the cockpit, cargo ready to roll. Wheels whizzing and whirring, pull that load. Working through to the sunset every day. Trying hard to be useful. Hey, hey, hey. Here we come up the hill. Suddenly, the quarry echoed with the sound of a very strange horn. Luke darted away again. It was Winston. This time, he was carrying Mr. Percival and Sir Topham Hatt. <gasps> Hello, Thomas. I have news for you. Paxton is now fixed. Thank you for your work, Thomas. Paxton will now take over again. And you will return to your branch line. Yes, sir. Thomas was sad. He wanted to stay with Luke, but he couldn't now. Luke! Please, Puff Out. You don't have to hide from me. We're friends now. Why do you keep hiding, Luke? Scarloe told me that you are scared you will be sent away from Sodor. I'm sure you won't be. But, Thomas, I did something very bad. I've done bad things too, Luke. We all have. Once, I steamed past a danger sign and fell into a mine. And I'm still here. <laughs> Thomas and Luke were so busy talking that they didn't notice Paxton had come back to the quarry. I'll tell you what I did, Thomas. But no one else must know. I promise, Luke. Don't worry. A long time ago, I was sent to Sodor to work at the Blue Mountain Quarry. My boiler bubbled with excitement. It was my dream to work on Sodor. There was a yellow engine on the boat. He came from far away, and he spoke a different language. Hola. ¿A dónde vas? ¿Vas a Sodor? <laughs> 